my son, your crops look really nice. Won't you join the rest of us please? Okay father, I have a little to do yet. I will be there when the sun is high. Father it is good to see you. I am tending my sheep. Can I help you? Your mother and I need to speak with you both. Meet us at the huts that we built. My sons, your mother, and I are proud of you. It is time for your first sacrifice. It needs to be a blood sacrifice of a flawless animal. We will contact God and tell him that you are ready. Have your sacrifices set up when the sun is high tomorrow. Forty years have passed since the fall of Adam and Eve. Two sons have been born, Cain, and his brother Abel. While Abel is a rancher, Cain is a farmer, growing produce for the mysterious people outside of Eden. All characters in this movie that are not mentioned in the story of Cain in Genesis are fictitious, and are there for dramatic purposes. Standard English names are used because I use computer voices which require English. This story is my interpretation of the book of Genesis of the events that happened to Cain. I smell the sweet savor of your sacrifice. It pleases me to smell this. I accept your sacrifice. My lord, my sacrifice is ready. I hope it pleases you. Your sacrifice is unsatisfactory. It must be a blood sacrifice. I am turning my back on you. My brother, how is it that God accepted your sacrifice but won't accept mine? How did you gain his favor? You heard father. The sacrifice must be of a flawless animal. You offered crops. I cannot tolerate this. My best crops were offered. It's you. 
Look what you did to me. Get out. Get out of Eden. You killed my son. You are not welcome here. <laughs> but mother I am your son. How can you abandon me? You heard your mother. Get out of Eden. You are no longer welcome here. My wife will bear me another son. Where is your brother, Cain? Have you seen him? Am I my brother's keeper? How should I know where he is? You have killed your brother Abel. His blood screams out from the land. You are banished. The earth will no longer produce for you. A vagabond is what you will be, wandering about the earth. This is more than I can bear. I will wander about the earth, and everyone in the world will know who I am and will try to kill me. I will place a mark on you, and I will warn those in the world not to harm you. If they do, they will face my vengeance sevenfold. Now go, leave this place. You are not welcome in Eden. Hello Seven Sisters Colony, I am Lorraine gathers with my partner Mindy Moss to bring you Seven Sisters news. Thank you Lorraine. Our special guests today are Governor Ray Mott and Regional Director Mary Landau. They are going to discuss the state of the occupation and our community. First we have an update about the Eden Experimental Facility. We have breaking news that Kane has allegedly killed his brother Abel and has been expelled from Eden. A mark has been placed on his face to identify him. Any resident attacking him with face severe retaliation. Our best advice is to avoid Cain if you see him and stay away from him. Now for more on this and other Seven Sisters news, we will turn to our guests. Now, Governor, I understand that you will have a meeting with a government commissioner later on in the day. Is there any truth to that? Yes, that is true. It looks like a routine visit, though those have been rather rare. My next question is for Director Landau. What is the state of our community, especially the growth, is communities in the Seven Sisters region? Our Seven Sisters region is growing faster than any other region. Even the Mars sector is not growing this fast. Settlers are arriving as well. The future looks bright for us. Welcome Commissioner Starfield. I am Governor Ray Mott, and with us are Regional Director Mary Landau and Eden Control Center Assistant. It's a pleasure to get a visit from the home world. Thank you, Governor Mott. I must admit that I am rather confused. I expected to find a military garrison here, but what I found was houses and communities. I also want an update on the Eden Project. Commissioner, since the occupation, we have had May soldiers let their enlistments expire and they have started new lives here. I want to know where the garrisons are. This planet was supposed to have been garrisoned after the Galactic Civil War, but I have seen mostly civilians. Maybe you don't know. For the Earth at least, the occupation has been all but over for some time, especially in our sector. This is extremely irregular. You need to explain what's going on here, and it had better be good. The government is not going to be happy about what I have seen. Commissioner, maybe you don't know the history of this planet. After the occupation began, the garrisons left here received very little in the way of aid. 
many of our soldiers, their enlistments expired, struck out on their own, and started families. We had to trade with Mars and the other colonies just to get by. There are still a few soldiers here, but with our being largely forgotten and settlers arriving, we are a civilian society. I was born to two soldiers who fell in love and started a family. Have you been keeping up with the Eden experiment? We have been doing what we can, but because of lack of support, the Eden experimental complex is slowly falling apart. Maybe if we had gotten support, we would be in better shape. I have never seen anything like this. The sights and sounds excite me. I found some berries and ate them. They tasted good. I still don't have a mark on my body so I don't know what God meant when he said there would be a mark on me. This is the creature that we are supposed to modify. He is genetically compatible with the female on the table. Still they are separate species. I will commence the process, including a physical mark on his body and insertion of a transponder.
We had the greys place a mark on Kane's body. I thought that was the easiest way. Those greys make me nervous. I know that we have a treaty with them to allow some experimentation, but it bothers me. I have heard some stories about them. Honey, see if you can get the attention of the waitress. Let's order some food. Hello, everyone and welcome. We have our Nile special today if you like, and then the Seven Sisters Band will play. We will all have the Nile special. I have been wanting to eat some crocodile meat. Honey after we eat and after the band why don't we dance? <laughs>
Someone help me. There is a mean, scary animal. I think it wants to eat me. Get away from her, you animal. Ha, ha. Come get me. Come, Cain. Oh yes we know who you are. Come to the cottage please. Honey Cain helped our daughter. I am going to give him a care package as a thank you. He helped our daughter. I know who you are, but I am in your debt. Thank you. Good luck to you on your journey. I am Commissioner Lawrence Starfield. I came to inspect your operation and ask why you have such poor retention levels. We have had few replacements, and supplies have been very thin. If the home world cared more, you might have more retention. This has become a colony. We still have occasional reptilian attacks even after their surrender. I have a reptilian fighter on my viewer. It is incoming, headed straight for Mars. General Quarters, General Quarters, all hands man your battle stations. Stand by flight crew intercept incoming reptilian fighter. Excuse me a reptilian fighter is attacking. We have an alliance with Mars. This is it people, let's get to the ship. We need to help defend Mars. Reptilian fighter incoming. Top of the line. Oh no, there are two more coming. Martian fighting machine inbound as well. They are going to try to flank the reptilians. Maximum power to shields. The reptilians are opening fire. <laughs> The reptilians are getting more bold all the time. We won this one thanks to the Martians. The maintenance crews have been working over time to keep up on the repairs. I heard that commissioner was confused as to why we have low retention rates. What an idiot he is. Let's get some food and then we will watch the music and dancing. <laughs>
I arrived at a strange place. I saw something that looked like it was conveying a message, and a strange hut, if that is what it was. I got in, as did others. Suddenly the ground rushed away from us. Then I realized that it was we who were flying and I feared the worst. Everything grew small as I watched. We have a spacecraft inbound. It's a Grey Alliance shuttle, a saucer probably carrying an ambassador. They are contacting us. It's confirmed. They want to speak with the governor. I have them on my list. The governor is expecting them. They will land right at the government center. Send my greetings to the ambassador and tell them that they are cleared for landing. How may I help you, Ambassador Green? It has been some time since we talked last. I am concerned over the recent incident. Apparently, the reptilians are not as defeated as we thought. I am Commissioner Lawrence Starfield. I can assure you that this was an isolated incident. Our forces destroyed them. From what I have seen, the Martians helped win the battle with their fighting machines. What do you propose that we do? We are short of materials and personnel. We are willing to establish an outpost on the side of this planet's moan and provide combat-ready saucers. In return, we would ask for abduction rights. Abduction rights? I don't understand. You want to abduct our people? That is correct. We have a genetic flaw that will result in our demise if it is not corrected. It would help us if we could study your species. The abducted persons will not be harmed, merely tagged. I will talk this over with the others, Ambassador. This is highly irregular. I found my way into what appeared to be a living area where the huts were strange and I was immediately confronted. Well, if it isn't the mighty Kane. Yes, we have heard of you. Don't worry, we actually wanted some advice. My advice? What do you mean? I am a vagabond, traveling about. What can I do for you? We know that you are an experienced gardener, and helped feed many of our people. We thought you could look over our greenhouse setup. I don't know what that word means, but I am happy to help. Come with us, Kane. We will show you what we mean. After that, we will have some entertainment for you. We call these greenhouses, Kane. They are being used to grow food. I will have my two assistants show you around and maybe you can give us some recommendations on how better to produce food.
We call this place a restaurant. This is where we eat, one of the places that is. What is that woman doing, walking between tables carrying that tray? She serves the food. Later on there will be music and dancing. You will see what we mean. May I help you all? Oh it is the infamous Kane. Welcome, Kane. Nothing but the best for our friend Kane here. We'll see to it that he is provided for before he goes.
Hello, Eden Colony. I am Lorraine Gathers with Mindy Moss. With us is Commissioner Lawrence Starfield and Garrison Supervisor Jennifer Sales to talk about the current status of the colony. First, we have the news. Mindy? Thanks, Lorraine. One story we are following is the apparent battle of our garrisoned forces with rogue elements of the reptilian empire. What we have heard is that the reptiles were driven back with the help of the Martians. Jennifer, would you care to comment on the battle? It is true that we drove the reptilians back, but I am disappointed that you are giving so much credit to the Martians. I am as well. Our glorious home world keeps a steady, reliable fighting force on this planet at all times. I think we can expect more trouble from the reptiles. In other news, more sightings of the infamous Kane have popped up. One report said that he took a ride on an automated tour ship. Commissioner, how does the home world feel about Kane going into our society? Well, the Eden experiment was designed to create servile units in our image in order to take on menial tasks like food production. Unfortunately, it has not lived up to expectations and eventually will be shut down. I came upon something that I did not understand, but someone told me that it was a festival, a place where people celebrated. It was here that I was to see my wife for the first time, playing some kind of instrument and captivating me with her beauty. I stayed for a while and used something called money that people had given me to buy food.
I also spent some of the money to try out the attractions but I am not sure that I did the knife throwing correctly because I kept hitting the girls.
Before I go back, can you show me any previous models of experiments you made? I think either way, I am going to recommend that the Eden projects be shut down. We do have a female in stasis. We call her Lilith, but she did not function correctly. It would be a shame if you closed it down. The Eden Project is one of the most important projects in our history. You also are forgetting about the colonists on this planet. Many of us are making our lives here. Fewer people are from the home world and more have been born here. They won't be willing to go. Well, we will see about that. You are still citizens of the home world. We will order you off this planet. I think we will throw you off this planet. This is our home now, and that is final. We are Earth people now. I had never seen the sea or anything like it. However, I came to a place that looked like it. It seemed that the creatures were putting on a show for me, and after all I had been through, I was enjoying it. Then to my surprise and delight, there was the girl that I had seen and who played for me. Thank you.
Well if it isn't the infamous Kane. I am glad to finally meet you. What did you think of my show? You were the most beautiful thing I had ever seen. Let's start with who you are. You will find out in time. For now, let's just talk. I want to get to know you. Well it looks like Cain, the man who killed his own brother. What say we feed him to the river beast? Let's see what kind of money he has first. Open up your pockets, big man. We are not afraid of your god. He will avenge me and you will be made to suffer. I was walking through the woods when I heard women's voices. I looked into a clearing and realized that I had seen this before. They danced in a circle. I had never heard of a goddess before. Praise the goddess. Let's all dance to praise her. All glory to the goddess. Dance well for her favor. Let's start.
I am Cain from Eden. Where is this place? What is this place, and who are you all? We are called archaeologists. It is the study of things that happened in the past. These are called caves, where we go below the normal ground. Why don't you join us for a while and we will show you what we do? What is that thing that is lying on the ground? Is that what's left of a dead person? Yes, it is called a skeleton. Those are bones like what you have inside of you. I think that guy, that commissioner, is going to be trouble. Bureaucrats like him generally are. They cannot look at reality. I have been talking to the governor and I got the same basic reaction. He does not like the commissioner at all. At the computer center we have never heard of this, but he sounds like a nasty person. Are you girls going to stay for the music and dancing? I think so. Let's see if we can get the attention of the waitress. I am hungry for some fish. How may I help you ladies? We have a great special with ball meat and vegetables. Then be sure to catch the music and dancing. I saw a fish dinner on the menu. That's what I will have.
We have a reptilian ship inbound. It's on a friendly approach to Earth. It does not appear to be hostile. I have it on my list. It is an expected ambassador's shuttle. See to it. Tell them that they can land at the governor's center. Notify the governor. The reptilian ambassador is here to see you, Governor. Oh, that's just great. We get rid of that commissioner, and now this. Welcome to Earth, Ambassador. How may I help you? I am here to make diplomatic contact with the Earth. This is overdue. I also want permission to visit Satan who is incarcerated inside the Earth. I am Regional Director Mary Landau. I can arrange your visit. We also have another issue to discuss, the recent battle with some reptilian ships. This was not supposed to happen. Those were rogue elements within the Empire. We are not responsible. The treaty remains in effect. Now I will visit Satan.
I am here from the Empire Lord Satan. It grieves me to see you like this. Take heart, my old friend. All's not lost. We will destroy the Redeemer as we destroyed the experiment. Do you have any instructions for me? For now, heed the treaty and play along with it. Be patient, old friend. I came upon a horrifying scene that I could not understand. Before me was a mountain burning with fire. People were fleeing this terror, and I ran too. There was red glowing liquid rock and anyone who touched it died in fire. Blobs of this rock fell from the sky, setting people on fire and burning them alive. Come with me. I will take you to a place of safety. Or you can stay here and burn. 
My mysterious benefactor led me to a place where many were gathered. It seemed to be some kind of ceremony, perhaps opening this place up. And now I dedicate this community for the people of the Seven Sisters Colony. Thank you all for coming. Be sure to enjoy the entertainment and food.
I will play for you. Then come with me. I have someone that I would like you to meet. But I don't even know you. Where are you taking me? To our home. No one will harm you. In fact, you are going to like it. I promise. Welcome Kane, I am Governor Ray Mott of the Seven Sisters Colony. This is my assistant, Mary Landau, and you have already met my charming daughter, Cindy. What's this all about? Why am I here? It has all been a test for you, Kane. We have been tracking you, perhaps nudging you along. After you killed your brother Abel, we wanted to test you to see if we could work with you. I don't expect you to understand who we are or what we want. We want you to help build a city for us. A city is a place where people gather to live and work. I know nothing of this. I don't have any skills that you want. Yes, you do, Kane. It's your gardening skills that we want. Our community is expanding, and you will be working with a team. You will be arranging the trees, bushes, and gardens. What happens if I say no? Do I get killed? No, you will simply be left to wander about, a vagabond with no home. I have an incentive for you, Kane. It's my daughter. She wants you to take her for your wife. Since the moment I saw you, I knew that I wanted you for a husband. I'll be a good wife, but only if you accept our agreement. I can't be your wife if you are wandering out in the wilderness after all. Think about it, Kane. You can aimlessly wander the land, a homeless vagabond, or join with us and our society. You can build a city and raise a child. That is the real mark of Kane. Not the silly mark on your face. It's the mark of history.
And so Cain went on to build a city, took a wife and raised a son called Enoch. He made his mark on history, as recorded in the Holy Bible.